players. But we're gonna see for real what happens in the actual match. Game one, Mars versus Dill starting off on Smashville. No surprise there. Yeah, so uh, Dill def like been one of the reigning champions lately over at the Xeno Series in New York City. He won like four or five Xenos in a row, which is unheard of for Xeno. And uh, he just hasn't really been finding too much competition. So it's great to see him come out here and actually fight against the brand stop new players. Going? John? Yeah. John stopped going like a year ago, dude. Uh, no, yeah, I do quit Smash 4. No, John. John is still coming through. He's just not. Oh yeah, he's through. playing Splatoon. <laughs> I'm tight. At Zeno. Anyways, uh, Diddy Kong versus uh, Zero Suit. Dill's gonna immediately open him up right off the bat on the edge of that corner. Meanwhile, he got Mars coming off a fresh win at Midwest Mayhem. Or not? Uh, yeah. One yeah, 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 way. He did. Midwest he did. Mayhem without dropping a set. Playing with the likes of DeBuzz, SDX. You know, he is feeling himself. Dan too too hot last week at some Texas tournament, but uh, you know, but Midwest did fine. Let's see if we can try to carry that momentum into this tournament. I think from memory, I actually don't think Mars has ever won one of these. Overclock? Like, yeah, I, I don't believe. I know Light won one, Dark Wizzy won time. one, but I don't think he's actually ever gone home with the gold. So this is his last chance to actually keep it, if I remember correctly. Dang. Like I said, you know, this is, uh, last Overclock three, he uh, got second place. So one step closer. Never forget that down smash he got on Lilac versus Dark Wizzy, where oh, he just fizzed out. Yep. Yeah, that's the one that Dark Wizzy won, dude. Which I'm <laughs> yeah. is not here. I thought Dark Wizzy, Dark Wizzy was going to be here. It's because he's at DreamHack. That's right. Yeah. Here we go. Nice catch from Dill. Both players at a high percent. That's a good option for Dill to go for, right? Go throwing that banana peel just to be able to catch. It, it, it creates an option select. So if Mars opts to go for a ledge jump, the ban can get caught by that, and then Diddy Kong staying on the ground catching any grounded options, but good stuff from Dill taking away the first blood with that short hop back air. All right, and immediately we're gonna see Mars get control of the banana, but Dill picks it up right afterward. And we're gonna see how Mars is gonna try to fish for this first KO here. He does have quite a bit of percent racked up on a Dill. I like Dill's use of the monkey flip there as the command grab, though, catching Mars in shield. Woo, he lived! Forward air, yes sir. Gonna go for the rocket barrel boost to get back to the stage. Chilling on that platform. <clears throat> That's still not enough. Up air gonna miss. Anti air back air. Oh my goodness, get that damage, Dill. Mars yeah. looking a little hurt now. Diddy Kong gets so much off of peel, so much damage. Wasn't able to mash out in time. I think he was trying to mix up his timing a yeah. bit because Dill's really good at mashing. But did not get out in time. Mars able to just go for a free four smash and delete that stock. I like that with the follow-up. Not quite. Thought he was going to go uh, to the other direction there. Got the wrong read. But Dill trying to fire it up. Needs to be careful. These grabs have been whiffing upon whiffing. Dill already has an idea of the patterns that Mars exhibits when he tries to go for these grabs. Needs to mix it up a little bit more. See a 99%. It's Ooh. the grab. Up air. Up air into up B to close out the game. Mars doing what Mars does best. Stealing stocks at low percent. Yeah, I honestly didn't no, if it was going to kill or not. He was pretty high up, but I thought he might have been able to hold down. But look where he is. Nah, there's... And what's crazy is if you look at the stats afterwards, I guarantee you Dill did more way damage. Yeah. more damage. But it's just, you know, you get, you get caught in the wrong spot at the wrong time. That's all Zero Suit needs. That's why she stays in the air so much. And you got a counter pick coming from uh, Mars. I was going to go for the Captain Falcon, which everyone knows him for. He definitely got that Falcon yeah, on he deck. definitely... He been playing it a lot um, yeah. and granted it's definitely been like before everyone used to think of it as a bit of a meme pick and then mm. he just started using it more and more in tournament and now it's been a, an established secondary that he uses in situations where he doesn't feel as comfortable. Now Dill knows this matchup. He's played against Nixie a ton of times back in the old Xenos, uh, New York City Captain Falcon. But he hasn't been in, there hasn't been Falcons like recently. So it might be a little rusty in the matchup. Yeah, we're gonna see. Similarly, he can still fish for grabs, but this time not nearly putting himself at as much of yeah. a risk. Back attack. Nice, because the up air, double up air. Going to chain those, look for the air dodge, oh and that's God. what happens Dill. when he reads through your soul. Dill actually just gave him the air dodge for free. I am shook. Because you can smell him sniffing it, right? It wasn't just me. Yeah. No, that's Falcon. I mean, that's like the that's the first rule of fighting Captain Falcon. You don't push the R button midair because stuff like that happens. We're gonna see how he claps the back. He's already throwing out some down tilts, yeah. literally clapping. But he's gonna need a little bit more than that. Again, throws him off stage, collects the van peel. Just be able to throw it off stage, just get out of gameplay. Try to catch him with the Raptor boost on the stage. Oh. Dive kick mid stage, or Falcon dive rather. Falcon dive, yeah. It's a little bit of a hug. Ooh, I like that. 
I like the spacing from Dill right there. He was in just enough away in case he Mars wanted to challenge him with an right. attack that he was able to avoid it. Even though he was, he was uh, sniffing for an air dodge himself. Oh, catches it. Throws it up to cover him on the way up. Smart from Mars. Yeah. Try to do the most he can to make Captain Falcon's recovery a little bit less predictable. But Dill playing smart, staying on the stage. It's not going to give him the air dodge, but that Raptor boost almost killing Dill. Yeah, at this point, if you're Dill, you have to go for the immediate up air to check Mars, because that's twice now he's refused to give him the air dodge. Now, Mars is going to go for silly stuff because he has a stock up lead. Right? He's going to go for Raptor Boost, he's going to go for Falcon Kick just to get the kill, but Dill's going to snuff it out completely with that up tilt. I still think that Mars is going to go for something like funny like that to get this kill. Oh, yeah, okay. he'll throw it right back at him. I didn't order this. He's going to wait. Oh, okay. Down smash. Goes Clean. for the four. The turnaround forward smash to take away Dill's second stock. Yeah. People's elbow right to the gut. Yep. What's strong about the people's elbow, the you know Falcons, uh, the Falcons forward smash, is he like bends back a bit. You know, mm -hmm. like he reaches away so in case you try to retaliate, you'll whiff. Survival. And that so elbow's cool. coming in strong. I love that moves that have like evasive properties to them that allows you to use them in cheeky ways like that. Because um, traditionally, like it's not a bad forward smash, but it's not amazing. Yeah. But that little added property of it gives it chances where it can be used to an effect Three, where it's helpful. Two, one, go. Going to go to town and city for game three, though. Um, we're going to see how that counterfeit ends up working for Dill, because that is Mars up 2-0. I know this is a long-awaited set for you, but so far, Dill hasn't been able to quite put one up on the board. I mean, Dill was doing pretty well game number one. Game number two, I felt like it's just like, what is this Falcon? Mm. But let's see if we can try to adapt in time, or Mars is going to take this with a swift 3 0. Falling fair, going to get a little bit of damage there, going to get the trip with the banana pole. It's always weird seeing uh, Falcons get up attacks. I don't see it too often, but he has like a backhand, dude. What a weird. There we go. We're in the air dodge again, connecting those up airs. Trying to go for a slight ladder combo himself that eventually leads into a knee. Oh! Went for the forward smash. I mean, full well he's going to slip on that peel and go sliding across the stage. It's a comical effect. Okay. Wow, that doesn't hit either, but controlling so much of the aerial space with the banana and his own aerials. Mars now getting hunted down by Dill. He's got flip kick to the other side. I wonder if that was on purpose maybe to gain some space. But gentlemen, almost enough to kill. Mars going deep out there. Yeah, that's why Dill has to go for the rocket barrel boost so close to the blast zone. And again, this is the one thing that Dill's not really prepared for is that Mars is kind of a crazy player. Yeah. Sometimes he'll just go for stuff like Raptor boost in the middle of neutral. And like, like Falcon Kick me there. Falcon Kick, yeah, right? I mean, granted, it does have its use. It does kind of stall you in the air a little bit, timing mix up, but most Falcon players don't do that. Okay, okay getting that peel again. Able to get the four smash, even though the peel did not collide. I guess he's going to get that jump afterwards. Gets the toss, has him off stage, 136%. Wow, doesn't go out there to try and contest it. Sees an opportunity. Up air. Uh, Wants the air dodge. Uh, a good challenge from Dill. He had to go for that attack. Yeah, and you were smart. See, so you, you called it yourself. He wants the air dodge. Did he get it? Not quite. And now he gets a detailed yeah. up smash for his troubles from making the correct play. Knowing what your opponent wants is half the game. Uh, Dill definitely wants to, does not want to go down with a 3 0. He wants to at least put a point on the board. So he gets 77%. Gets the banana peel afterwards. Like the this. combos are starting. Uh oh. And Mars is chilling back. Wants the roll. I mean, that's the, might as well just go for it. It wasn't too high committal. Right. If you would have rolled onto the stage, it would have been his death. And he's not getting punished for it, so you may as well take what you can. If someone's not punishing you for doing something, just may as well assume it's safe. Heal again in hand. Punishing Mars for going for a big re with that forward smash. And Dill's closing the gap with the percent. Yeah, the damage deficit is looking smaller and smaller. Dill making great use of these banana peels. Wow, goes right yeah, over. Dill's, Dill's playing more patient. He's holding shield. But oh. as I say it, he tried to chase him with a neutral air. Again, Mars the madman going for a raptor boost on the platform of town. Man. Look at this. Like he was playing super safe there, saw the Falcon kick coming. Didn't think he was going to go for a Raptor boost immediately. Yeah. He actually went for that neutral because he thought he was going to catch that banana peel, but just misspaced it a little bit. And because he went for the banana peel, that actually spelled his doom. So Mars is going to take that 3-0. to zero. Dill, you got your set that you wanted, man, but was it what you wanted? Yeah, you know. It's <laughs> he didn't say he wanted to, to win him. He just wanted to fight him. He just wanted him, to play so him. He just that. wanted to play him.
At least I'm glad that at the end of Smash 4's lifespan, you, you got, got, it, got it, man. And you know what? Maybe there'll be a run back. I have a little bit of uh, info from the man himself. That oh, was yeah? a C-Stick Nair. That was just before forward air, which probably would have beat the Raptor boost. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of wondering about Ninja Slayer. Zelda doesn't oh. really go for Ninja Slayer too often unless he's going for like a, like a setup into like a down air mm. to off stage.